Documents obtained by 13 News show what could be at stake for Shawnee County taxpayers with whoever takes over Hotel Topeka. They also offer some new insight into just how hard the COVID pandemic hit the hotel and conference industry. The city was the high bidder for the hotel at auction last week and has said it will reveal all the review all the hotel's contracts once a sale is finalized. We investigated one of those contracts, the deal with Shawnee County to manage Maynard Conference Center. 13 News filed an open records request to learn how much the hotel operator has paid the county over the years to oversee Maynard Conference Center. The original contract with John Q. Hammonds was dated 1996 when he was building the hotel. It called for paying the county $95,000 a year with annual increases equal to the percent increase in the consumer price index. Documents from the county show those increases to $120,000 for 2008, $137,000 by 2015, $146,000 for 2019. It also reflects the large jumps in inflation in 2021 and 2022. The county's documents show the hotel owners always paid up, falling a few thousand dollars behind in mid-2017, but paying up by early 2019. Then COVID hit. Emails between Shawnee County Councilor Jim Crowell, Hotel Manager Rob Burquist, and Jason Dinkins, Vice President of Operations for GF Hotels and Resorts, which currently runs the hotel, show the hotel negotiating lower payments as hotel guests and conference and event bookings dried up. County records show the hotel skipped its second quarter payment in 2020, along with the fourth quarter and first half of 2021, racking up a past two bill of nearly $150,000. On April April 4th, 2021, an email from County Councilor Crowell to Bergquist and Dinkin shows the county agrees to lower the monthly payments from 13000 to 4250 for the second half of 2021. That rate was extended through the first three months of 2022. In a March 31st, 2022 email, Crowell says the county wants to reset the payments at 10000 a month. Berquist responds the next day. In his email, he said the hotel operated at a $12,000 loss that January and a $95,000 loss in February. He also states revenue per available room in December 2018, pre-COVID, was $23.68, compared to $11.45 in December 2021. February 2019 was $50.77. February 2022 was $17.13. Quote, the bondholders lender is still paying out each month to keep the hotel open and operating on a monthly basis, Berquist wrote. We would like to not give them any more reason to close the hotel down than already exists. He then proposed a $7,000 a month payment rate. The hotel and county would ultimately agree to $8,000 where it's remained since. The first mention of a pending auction comes in January 2023. Dinkins, the VP of GF Hotels, tells Crowell he will keep him updated on the lender's plans for an upcoming auction. In a February 20th email, Dinkins says the hotel is slated for receivership sale auction on April 17th to 19th. And on April 21st, he informs Crowell the auction was delayed to June 5th. He asks if the hotel may continue with events or needs to cancel. Crowell replies to continue as is until the county can negotiate with new ownership. Now, despite the lower payments agreed to, County Councilor Jim Kroll told us that he maintains the hotel still is bound to the full contract amount, which would make that total amount owed to the county $295,000. That ultimately will be part of negotiations with the eventual owner. A city spokesperson says they do not expect the sale to close until late July, and after that, a court would need to approve it. A lot more to come. Interesting report.